says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Again, it says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Now, you may be wondering, what does that exactly mean, Davidson? And that's a great question. So what Paul's telling us here is that the life giver wants to give us strength inside. So you probably have seen people work out before. Maybe you've even worked out yourself, done some push-ups or gone for a run, and you get stronger on the outside. And that helps you whenever things get tough on the outside. But what happens when life gets tough, right? What do we do whenever we start getting sick? What do we do when our friends maybe tease us? How about whenever a school subject that used to be our favorite all of a sudden becomes really, really hard? Or even maybe home is hard because our parents are fighting or going through a divorce. Well, Paul wants you to know that our life giver gives us an inner strength. And just like push-ups make you strong on the outside, following the life giver makes you strong on the inside. It gives you joy when things feel sad. It gives you peace when things feel crazy. It gives you an inner strength. It gives you life to the full. And if we keep reading in this same chapter, it says in Ephesians 17 on, so that Christ may dwell, that he may live in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide, long and high and deep is the love of Christ. That is really good news. Did you catch that? Paul wants us to know that the life giver loves us. Did you know that the life giver, that God loves you? And yeah, I mean you. There is not a single person who can hear my voice who the life giver does not absolutely unconditionally love. I mean, his love is so wide that the entire world receives his love. Like he holds the whole world in his hands, right? And he loves all of them. Not only that, it's so long that I could take this tape measure and I could put it all the way across this rainforest and it still wouldn't be long enough to be longer than God's love. And his love is so deep that we could go to the very depths of the ocean and it still would not be as deep as God's love for you. And his love is so high that we could be in all the way in outer space and land on the moon and still his love would be higher. He loves you. The life giver loves you. And because he loves you, he wants you to have what? Life to the full. That's right. And so as we keep reading, we see that in Ephesians 19, it says, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God, life to the full. And that brings us back to our life leaf verse today, Ephesians 3.20. That says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. The life giver loves you. And because he loves you, he wants to do more than you can ever dream to ask in your life. He is the greatest adventure out there. And that's what we're going to be spending this week exploring.